world best or world record, whichever you want to call it, two miles attempt from Jacob um, Ingebitsen. Um, current world record is held by Daniel Coleman, dates back to July 1997, and that stands at 758.6. Um, it's quite remarkable, really, that given the progression in all the other world records, from 1500 up to 10,000 meters, that no one's really had a serious attempt in the uh, in recent years with um, the advances of the wave lights, the spikes, uh, you know, the carbon plated spikes and such like, that uh, nobody's had a serious attempt at this record. So it still stands 758.61. Um, European record stands to Mo Farah actually at 8.07. Um, 807 also is the uh, the personal best over two miles of Paul Chalimo. He's the uh, the silver medalist from the 2016 Olympic Games at 5,000 meters. He's got a 355 mile PB, 807 at two miles, and 1257 at 5k. So again, it's a it's a rarely run distance. So perhaps that explains it a little. But uh, you might have thought that some of the guys may have had a crack at this in recent years. But um, here we are. So it's two miles on the track. Remember, um, a mile 1609.34 um, metres, so they're going to start approximately 18 metres back from the, uh, the, the, uh, the finish line, as it were. So it's eight laps and um, an 18... 18.68 metres, so the stepping back there, that first curved line is the start line for the two miles. The next one, halfway between themselves and the finish line there, is the regular start line for the one mile. So, um, it's a little bit tricky when we're looking at the lap pacing and, um, and times. So you can actually go on 400 metres, which will be up to that curved line, or eight, eight, eight laps. So if you're going to go eight laps, you've got to allow um, 2.3 metres per lap, so for the eight times, um, if you want to do the um, equal division of the, the record by eight. Okay, so off we go. Wave lights, the green lights that you can see clearly on the inside of the track there, they are going at the world record pace. Again, sat by Daniel Coleman, 758. Um, I'm not sure what the purple line, in, the purple lights in front of the green light, they never really tell us what they're going on exactly, but Inga Bitson right on the front of the green lights there, so they're setting out at a good, honest pace, and they're really going to have an attempt at this. It will be interesting to see how many of the other guys in the field go with um, Inga Bitson and how long they last. Um, Stu McSwain in there from Australia. Um, so here we go, they're off, and bang on target, right on the, the green lights, the wave light technology as it's called. You can see there's not a lot of bunching, uh, perhaps a little bit in that second half of the, uh, the field, they're running two abreast, but essentially pretty much single file. Um, so, yeah, I mean, the, you know, they're going out at four minute mile pace, it's not hanging around by any means. Um, and already Jacob Ingebrigtsen not, um, not sitting back at all, he's getting right up there, right on the, uh, the wave light, right on schedule. So, not giving himself anything extra to do, he, uh, he wants to consistently and comfortably stick to the pace and attack this record. Looks very comfortable in Ingebrigtsen as they come through two laps, bang on schedule. I think it's going to be a question of, I think people think that Ingebrigtsen is capable of breaking this record, it's just by how much. We can see only uh, 1k into the race and the field really has spread out. 2k split 229. Roger Bannister, of course, first man to break four minutes for the mile with 359.4. That was thought um, on, on a, a time that was um, beyond reach at the time. Here, Jakob Ingebrigtsen is aiming to do that back to back and then a little bit more to take the record. 
And again, three laps in the bag and right on schedule. A lot of the field there wearing the, uh, the Nike kit, they'll be wearing the Dragonfly spike. Inga Bitsen is wearing a prototype track spike. Um, I don't think we'll get a close-up view of it, but a lot of the athletes are wearing that. Maybe it's a Dragonfly 2 carbon plate and the Nike Zoom X form. Of course, on my channel, you can see a lot of footwear reviews as well. So if you like this video, please subscribe and check out some of the other videos. But he does, he does look incredibly smooth and relaxed. And again, right on those green wave lights as he goes through a mile, bang on four minutes. So even pace, he's clearly aiming to in, um, increase the pace over the last lap or so. And it's essentially how much he can increase it. And that's going to be uh, determine how much he can get under the record, if indeed he can uh, maintain this pace. So we're into lap five now. 10, 15 metres clear of the rest of the field. I think the second pace maker will he go to a full five laps. He seems to be stretching away a little bit. Um, I think a lot of pace makers tend to do this. They, they, they make a little bit of a surge before they drop out. He's looking over his shoulder there. Ingebrigts and not getting too carried away, staying very relaxed. 2k, 5 minutes, bang on. Pacemaker gest gesturing to Ingebrigts and almost encouraging him to come through on the inside, taking the curb. He's going to shift out wide, he's going to move into lane 2 and he's probably going to drop out now. Yep, job done. 5k um, and an extra 100 metres there. So. It's uh, coming up to a K to go, and Ingebrigtsen does look incredibly smooth, very relaxed. He's right on that green wave light, which is the world record, current world record, 7.58.61. Daniel Coleman, July 1997. As we come onto the straight, we'll get an idea of how close he is or how far away from the world record and you can see he's already about two meters up on the wave like probably three meters seems to be stretching away a little bit so if he hangs on he is going to break the world record two laps to go by how much two to go 800 meters half a mile I mean the way he's run away from the field as well is quite remarkable um, these guys aren't hanging about, these are all world class, class athletes, world and Olympic finalists among them, including Chalimo, silver medalist from 2016, 5k at the Olympics. You can see he stretches out, he's 2 metres, 3 metres ahead of that wave light, which is the world record pace. 600 to go. Coming into the home straight for the penultimate time. He's just looking incredibly relaxed. Is he going to surge? He's going to, and the wave like that is suddenly four meters, five meters up. He's ahead of world record schedule. Six fifty-eight at the bell. How much can it? Sixty seconds will get him the world record. But Inga Bitsen is going to crank this up. How much can he break this world record by? Seven fifty-eight point six to beat. Three hundred meters to go. Wave lights are beyond him now. He's left them behind. This is an incredible run. Remember, nobody else has come close to that world record for over 20 years. Ingebrigtsen just increases the pace. He's striding out. He's a very strong athlete. It doesn't look like he's ever sprinting flat out. He's just powering away. He's coming into the final, final 100 metres. He's into the home straight. The wave lights are, are practically 20, 20 metres or more behind him. Athlete, the pacemakers are encouraging him up the home straight. The world record is his by how much? Wow, 7.54. Unbelievable, fantastic. Smashes the world record by over four seconds.
Och på Bislett så får vi ett svar på 1500. Det var enormt en bättre än vi kunde tänkt oss.